Hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zu Lamplight City. Wir waren das letzte Mal erfolgreich und haben den zweiten Fall äh, gelöst. So, you're up at last. Is something the matter, Addy? Oh, I see. You don't remember last night, do you? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Please tell me I didn't do anything stupid last night. No, I wouldn't use the word stupid. Oh, thank God. Disgusting and shameful would be more appropriate, I think. Oh, what did I do exactly? It was nearly two when you burst in here, soused to the eyeballs from God knows where. I imagine you've probably forgotten that too. You were muttering something about peace and quiet and then proceeded to relieve yourself on my begonias before stumbling into bed. Charming. I salute you, O oh Vice Admiral of the Narrow Seas. Good God, uh, how embarrassing. I'm so sorry, Addy. I don't know what came over me. I don't either. I've never seen you in such a state, and I pray that I never will again. I just bit off more than I could chew last night. I promise you, it won't happen again. What possessed you to go out and get so drunk anyway? I decided to stop taking the soporific. It was interfering with my ability to focus on cases. I thought perhaps having a drink or two would help me sleep, and I got a bit carried away. I see. Well, I'm at least glad you've stopped taking that terrible medicine. But trading it for alcohol? This had better really be a one-time occurrence. Anyway, you got another message from Upton. It's there on the table, if you're feeling fit for the world now. Hey, Addy. What is it, Miles? Addy, please know that I'm deeply sorry for my behavior last night. I'll do everything I can to make it up to you. Would you like me to get some new begonias? I don't need pretty flowers or pretty words, Miles. I just want things to go back to how they were. That's really all the apology I require. You're looking especially lovely today, Addy. Miles, don't flirt with me. Not now. I wouldn't push my luck with her, Miles. She hasn't completely forgiven you. What have you been up to lately? Nothing particularly exciting. My usual clients have been scheduling appointments and I've been trying to get some new ones as well. In my free time, I've been catching up on my reading. Anything good? Yes, the conclusion to the dissembling mechanism was just published in Brentwell Magazine last week. What's that? James Penstroke's latest serial. I wanted to read it to you, but you haven't been around much lately. Perhaps I'll take a look now that I can actually concentrate again. Yes, you could read it to me. I wouldn't mind hearing it again. It would certainly be a nicer way to spend your time than going out drinking. I'll let you get back to your book. Ja, dann nehmen wir mal die Warnung an. Gucken wir erstmal in die Zeitung, was passiert ist. Harris Baby gefunden. Dame aus Gascon in Flammen umgekommen. Hm, hm, hm. Dritter Mordfall, auch nicht gut. Hey, ihr könnt es ja lesen, wenn ihr wollt. Dann gucken wir uns die Nachricht an. Bordem, ein neuer Fall ist reingekommen, aber die Polizei untersucht ihn schon. Einige Details sind schon in die Zeitung geraten. Ich kann sie nicht im Rune Coffee House treffen. Also hier in Kürze. Die verschiedene ist Desiri Lethon. Ihre Wohnung ist in Right Away 840. Viel Glück, sie ab. Okay, das wird wahrscheinlich dann What does Upton say this time? Der Brandfall. She can't meet me and that I should go straight to the scene of the crime. I wonder if that means the police have started to suspect that she's giving you these cases. She also says news of this case has been made public and the police are already investigating. That explains the article in the newspaper. Which one? The one about Desiree Lathan, the woman who was found burnt to death. Oh, that sounds absolutely dreadful. Where is the crime scene? 840 right way. It's not too far from here. Thankful. You're sure you're feeling up to this today? I'll be fine. The mental exercise will get me back to normal in no time. Good. Well, this is shaping up to be quite the investigation. I should probably get a move on before the police ruin the crime scene any more than they already have. Good luck, Miles. And stay away from the bars, would you? Ich versuche es. Okay, dann. Go. I'll see you later, Addy. I look forward to your return. Eine verbrannte Frau. 
Oh, echt oh, um die Ecke. Looks as though we've arrived fashionably late. Excuse me, sir, but this is an active crime scene. We can't allow members of the public. Oh, this isn't just any member of the public, Kane. This is Miles Fordham. He used to be one of us until he killed his partner. Wonderful. Officer Parsons is on the scene. It's a shock the apartment isn't in a shambles. Good day to you too, officers. Fordham? What are you doing here? Ah, Captain Snelling. What a pleasure. That's Chief Snelling now, Fordham. I don't expect you follow the workings of the department much these days, but I'd appreciate the proper address. So nice to see the power hasn't gone to his head. My apologies, Chief Snelling. You haven't answered my question. What in blazes are you doing here? Oh, the story was front excited. page news. I couldn't resist coming to have a look for myself. There's no respect for police business anymore, damn meddlers. This is an active crime scene, Fordham. Leave the premises immediately. We could solve this case in no time if we work together, you know. We don't need any help, not even from former detectives. Parsons, I'm going back to the station. I want you to report the minute you're done here. Understand? Yes, sir. Now, don't get any funny ideas for them. If you so much as breathe on anything in here, I'll have you arrested for tampering with a crime scene. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. I'm glad that's settled. I suppose it's reassuring that even in this crazy, ever-changing world, you can always count on Snelling to be a complete ass. You heard the chief. No snooping around. The sooner you get out of here, the better for all of us. Okay. Der Brief, der ist natürlich, ne? Definitely too young to be Miss Lathan. Perhaps a relative? Judging by these books, this Lathan was quite the fan of poetry. Let's just hope her taste was better than Madame Dupre's. Hmm, no title. I doubt it's a diary. People rarely leave those things laying out in the open. Begging your pardon, officer. Yes, what is it, sir? Is there anything you can tell me about Desiree Lathan? I'm afraid not. You don't have clearance in this investigation. And there's nothing I can say to convince you otherwise? My superiors would be very upset if they knew I was breaking the rules. I'm sorry. I think the operative phrase in this instance is if they knew. We need to find a way to get Parsons out of here. Maybe we should visit Upton at the station. How long have you been on the force, officer? Two months, sir. And how's it treating you so far? This is where I was meant to be. That's good to hear. Parsons mentioned you used to be a detective? I was, yes, for 15 years. It wasn't always easy, but I loved every minute of it. Parsons goes on about how he's got his eye on becoming a detective, but I don't know if I'd be able to handle it. Is that right? Yes. He's up for review. I think he's trying to impress Snelling to improve his chances. Parsons wants to be a detective? Now I've heard it all. As if he needed more of a reason to be Snelling's lapdog. Do you enjoy working with Officer Parsons? I... I don't like to talk about my colleagues, sir. Especially when they're standing right over there. I understand. Perhaps this isn't the right time to be asking. What was Chief Snelling doing here? Nothing more than a routine inspection of the crime scene. Routine inspection? But the Chief of Police only goes to extremely high-profile crime scenes. I couldn't possibly comment on that, sir. Thanks for your time, Officer. Not a problem. Okay. You have to hand it to her. Miss Lathan certainly had a unique taste in fashion. I bet you could see her coming a mile away. An invitation to the Gascon Grand Dam's Ball. It seems it was held two nights ago at the Gascon Supper Club. Might be worth looking into, seeing as it's our only lead right now. Excuse me, Officer Parsons. Clear off, Fordham. The Chief doesn't want you here, and neither do I. You aren't on the force anymore, so you've got to respect the rules, just like every other citizen. 
He'd be respecting my fist if I were alive, believe me. I'm not trying to cause any trouble. I just want to ask a few questions. Well, if it will get you to leave faster. What can you tell me about Desiree Lathan? Nothing. Because you don't know? No, because I'm not going to betray Chief Snelling's orders and divulge that information to the public. Come on, Parsons, you know me. What harm would it do to tell me just a little bit? Do I have to state the obvious? If it were up to me, you'd be in jail for murdering an officer. I wouldn't make such claims without knowing the facts, Parsons. It could get you in serious trouble. It'd be a real tragedy to see your career cut short and you back in the workhouse polishing airship rivets. You don't scare me, Fordham. Rest assured, the feeling is mutual. Have you made much progress on this investigation? Did you not hear me the first time, Fordham? Drop it before I have to arrest you for interfering with a police investigation. You're looking well these days, Parsons. What's your secret? Secret? I don't know. Maybe something about getting a good night's sleep without blood on my hands? Does wonders. How long has Officer Kane been on the force? I'm not one to gossip, Fordham. That's only the second most hypocritical thing I've heard today. Ask him yourself if you're so interested. Why was Chief Snelling here, anyway? He's the chief of police, and this is an official investigation. It doesn't take a grand leap of logic. Yes, but the chief of police never bothers- Your point? Does that mean this crime scene is, in fact, of great importance? You're the investigator, Fordham. I'll leave you to work that one out. I hear you're looking to become a detective, is that right? Yes, that's right. Shouldn't be a difficult bar to clear, given the caliber of some former detectives. The process isn't easy, you know. You have to prove you're the best of the best. Don't think I'm not aware of that, Fordham. I'm just saying, standing around here isn't gonna do you any favors. I know that. First chance I get to shake this grunt detail for a shot at some real investigation, I'm all over it. Hmm. Parsons' eagerness might be something we can use to our advantage. That's all I wanted to know. Good. Gut, dann gehen wir halt. Erstmal zu Abten. Wir wollen den Tatort weiter erkunden. I didn't imagine we'd be coming back here in this lifetime. Fordham, have you solved the case already? Don't I wish. I haven't even gotten started. Well, I'm here if you need anything. Just be sure not to let Snelling see you. Is he back yet? He arrived a few minutes ago. I expect he'll be sequestered in his office today, so you shouldn't have to worry too much. Good to know. I don't think I've ever seen anyone reading those books. I'm half convinced they're purely decorative. Mm, the old Jack and Stars. Sure was nice when that sign didn't apply to us. Prime Minister Atwood, watching over the department with his signature scowl. Got a moment, Upton? Yes, but let's make this quick. Back to work, I see. Yes, well, the coffee shop holiday had to end eventually. I'm gonna have to find someplace else to meet you. The higher-ups are getting suspicious. To be honest, it was a bit wretched there. I won't miss it. Well then, Mr. Big Bug, you can have the honor of choosing the next place. Under a bridge somewhere, perhaps. Have you been able to find any leads on Bill's death? Have you? Not yet, no. I don't want to get your hopes up, but I may have something. Oh? The man you're looking for, he was burgling a flower shop, right? Yes. I couldn't help but notice that in the last two cases you've had, plants have been used to drug people. It may just be a coincidence, but I also think it's something worth looking out for. If it becomes a pattern, there's a good chance it might be related. But two different people did the drugging. True, but in both cases, they learned from someone else. It's a stretch, but it's better than nothing. I'll take it into consideration. I see the Gazette has caught wind of this supposed mass murderer. Yes, Snelling has been positively fuming about it. Between that and the Lathan case being publicized on the same day, it's been a nightmare for the department. Any idea how they got the information? I don't think anyone in the department has spoken to the press. Maybe they just have some very good reporters. So is it serious? Should we be concerned? Three murders is nothing to sneeze at, but all the victims have been men in Chumley. If that changes, then things might start getting urgent. Ugh, isn't that just the way it is? You can bet they'd have already caught the bastard if the first body had turned up in Leon. 
Any updates on the Harris baby? He's back home and doing well, thanks to you. I'm glad to hear it. You did an impressive job. I admit I was a bit concerned about how you'd fare after months of taking it easy. But I suppose detective work is like riding a bicycle. It's a guaranteed way to end up with a broken arm. I'm having some trouble with Officer Parsons. You and everyone else who's ever met him. What's the problem? He's keeping me away from the Latham crime scene. Of course. He's one of the most loyal to Snelling. Any suggestions for how I might get him away so I can look around? I might have an idea. There are several reported crimes that haven't been assigned yet, and Parsons is itching to prove his investigative chops. He'd probably abandon his post for a good enough lead and a chance to impress Snelling. Up to no good. You impress me. Department politics are something of a specialty of mine. About getting Parsons away from the crime scene? All right. These are the, as of yet, unassigned crimes. The body of a young man was found in the Hodgman River by the Gascone docks this morning. A woman in Chumley reported hearing a single gunshot in her neighbor's apartment last night. There was a deadly explosion at a factory in Worcester that may be linked to sabotage. And that's it for right now. Any of those strike your fancy? Tell me more about the body found at the docks. An unidentified man in his 20s was found in the river near the docks. The dock worker who reported it said that the body was bloated and decomposing. It must have been in the river several days. Dr. Edwards performed a post-mortem and determined the cause of death to be a blow to the head. I see. Certainly leaves a lot of questions. Do you think Parsons will be interested? Sounds good. Let's go with that one. All right. I'll send out the report as soon as we're done talking. Okay. That's it for now. Better get back to it then. Dann hoffen wir gleich mal, dass wir Parsons damit wegbekommen. Ich bedanke mich erstmal fürs Zusehen. Und wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal. Ciao, ciao.